Hello, everybody. We are here with your Suzano guy. We're going to be taking the old Suzano into the jungle. We're going to be starting with that Eye of the Jungle, our Tier 1 Mace. And of Don't course, a couple of health pots and our hand of the god. Of the so Susanna right now, uh, not particularly in the meta. Uh, the itemization isn't horrible for him. Um, he definitely leans more into the damage assassin type characters um, than the hybrid ability and Chile shifter shields assassins. Um, and he is decent at killing backline characters. But through a series um, of nerfs over the years, he has kind of become this all right character um, where you basically never see him uh, in ranked, but still a pretty decent god just for going around and having fun in the casuals. So we're gonna be starting with our three at level one. This probably throws a lot of uh, Susanna players for a loop. Uh, the reason why you start with a three is because of the cooldown on it. When you press your three again, your three normally has a cooldown of 16 seconds. But when you use the ability to teleport to it, it's actually gonna take a significant amount of CDR off of the ability, thus making it the best ability for that early game clear compared to uh, your one. Now for Susano, he's probably the singular most important god in the game to make sure you are auto attack canceling so what does that mean it just means that you're getting an auto attack in between your abilities so like when i use susana one over here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click one i'm gonna quickly right click and then i'm gonna keep left click held down the whole time so that's one right click one right click meanwhile my left click is pressed down the entire time so I can get the autos in between that ability. One auto, one auto, one auto. You want it in between every time. Same thing when we use our three. It's gonna be three auto, three auto. You want all of those auto Enemies attack cancels. He is filled with them. So once again, if I'm running over to this wave or this camp, I'm gonna auto, one, auto, one, auto, one. And you just keep doing it over and over and over again so three auto three auto every single time it's gonna cancel that animation and it's gonna make your life a whole lot easier especially once we get our hydras up procking you're gonna love it so i'm gonna go right in towards this achilles pop a little potion make sure i'm trying to use some auto attacks in between my abilities and we're gonna be able to pick up that kill so if you're just spamming straight abilities, you're not going to get the maximum of damage output that you could be doing. Going to grab myself actually just a little mana pot right here. With the Eye of the Jungle, oftentimes you are going to have to um, buy some mana pots. Not that big of a deal. Um, the Boomba's Dagger is not a bad item at all, but uh, its upgrades are now really uh, not that strong compared to just the straight up protector of the jungle so while the dagger can be nice in the early game uh, in the late game it does tend uh, to drop off decently hard so Su Susano has a ton of mobility in his kit probably one of the things that he's still quite good at so he's not the easiest character to tie down and kill he can be a little uh, slippery. He's got a good amount of CC as well, so he can provide good setup for your team. Um, the days of Susano kind of bursting the backline and one-shotting them are not, uh, not, not, not quite as good as, as he used to be, um, but he still does have very nice setup with the pull, with the knockup on the ulti. So I do recommend kind of utilizing him in that manner. So our build is gonna be heavy on the CDR. So we can both have the extra cooldowns for our movement to be a little bit more slippery, but also so we can be setting up our team more often, particularly gods like the Poseidon, who will be able to follow up with that Kraken. Now I'm gonna go for the gang middle lane right here. I'm gonna go right towards this guy. I'm gonna pull him right in, and we're gonna be able to set up a nice, easy kill 
with that Kraken like we were just talking about. So we use our three to teleport in, then we pull him right on side. Meanwhile, the ultimate is down, charging up, and then we skadoodle our boodles right away. Now, unlike a lot of other abilities in Smite, Suzano's ultimate does actually need to channel. The channel is relevant. Uh, on this ability, once again, I'm going to grab a singular a mana pot. Don't think and we're going to get our warrior tabai as we work ourselves into our uh, Jotun's Wrath for the CDR. So the ultimate does need a channel. If you use it right away, you're actually not going to get that knock-up effect on the ulti. So typically, you have to wait about a second. Um, it'll get, it'll grow larger. You'll get some more damage. You'll get the knock-up. All sorts of good stuff. So just keep that in mind. It does actually need the channel. Sometimes you will fire it immediately, but that's when like you need like 40 damage on a target, but they're outside of your range of all your other abilities or you're on everything's on cooldown and you're just trying to finish up that kill. Gonna look again towards the Morrigan. Just gonna do a little, little blink. See if I can't get him to use his stealth. He does. Now I immediately follow up with the pull. Gonna hit him with a three as well. And I can chase him through the three for the kill. So, this is gonna bring up into our matchups for Suzano. So, what does Suzano do good against if he's only an okay god? Suzano's one thing that he actually does particularly well is killing stealth gods. Suzano is actually very nicely in stealth gods, whether that's Loki or Morrigan or whatever, because all of his abilities are AoE. And he has a lot of tracking. So I can wait on the Morrigan. You can see in that fight, I waited for her to right when I thought she was going to stealth. Then I pulled him. Pulls him immediately out of stealth. Instantly kills that decoy. Bada bing, bada boom. All of a sudden, Morrigan is just stuck there. I see Morrigan stealth near me. I can just start spamming my one. And we take him out. I think Morrigan's going to stealth. I throw my three on him. Now he's got a couple of second bleed on him. And I can teleport to it whenever I want to. Freedom! Gonna try to get Enemy over <laughs> to my... Dan, does it help him? Won't be able to save his life, but we will be able to kill the Emoja. Another quick tidbit that you should know about Suzano's kit is on his ultimate, you're gonna get a little targeter. The ultimate is gonna go... It's going to be, how do I explain this? It is going to be oriented in the way that you're looking when you cast the ult. So you have, there's going to be a little marker for you when you use your Susanna ulti and it will let you know the direction that the ulti is going to fly in. It can be a little funky. So you're gonna need a little practice with it, but it's actually not that hard to use once you get used to it. So pay attention. Pay attention to the little indicator at the bottom while you're learning the ability because it'll help you uh, learn exactly where it's gonna go. And to be fair, every once in a while, everybody will mess up Susano ultimate. It just happens. It's one of those things, especially when you haven't played him for a while. And then you go to use his ulti and you're like, oh yeah, that's the way his ulti works. Happens to everybody. For our level order on Susano, we grabbed our three at level one. But we're actually maxing out in the order of four, one, three, two. So we max out our ultimate first because this is going to increase the damage on this big AOE team fight ability. Then we rank up our one. This is our main form of damage. Then we're going to cap out our three. Because it's only going to give us damage. And finally, Enemy our two. Down. Leveling up the one also Shut gives out. us a uh, reduced uh, cooldown, which is very nice. So next up, all these means I'm going to have to pop my ultimate kind of defensively here as well. I'm going to use my dash to try to kill the Nezra right there and also get out of the ulti. Unfortunately, not quite going to kill and lose one HP. Emoji is going to put me down, but we should be able to get a nice two for one trade out of this. So looking at their composition, they got a decent bit of healing. 
Yeah, Moja healing. Nezha's got self-sustain. Achilles has got self-sustain. Heim will buy life steal. So I am gonna want anti-heal this game. Uh, but I don't want it quite yet. So I'm actually gonna get it as a fourth item. So I'm gonna go into a Hydra because Hydra is probably better on Suzano than maybe any other character in the game. Although I think there's an argument probably for Hunbat. Enemy spotted. And then after our Hydras, we're gonna go back and get ourselves a Brawler's Beat Sick. So that way we can apply anti-heal. We do have four damaging abilities, which means we do have four abilities to apply that Brawler's Beat Sick. So traditionally on Suzano, we are going to be using our three to initiate. If our blink is down, if our blink is up, we're obviously going to try to initiate with our blink. I'm going to try to blink right there in front of the Achilles ult to stop it from killing my Arthur. And then we need to now get ourselves out of dodge because the rest of the team has now shown up. Luckily, Achilles' ultimate has a long enough time for you to try to get in front of it. So typically, we're going to initiate with our blink if we have it. If we don't, we're going to use our three to get into the fight. And you almost always start off a fight. That is so unfortunate. You almost always start a fight. Oh, my goodness. By utilizing your pull. Your pull should always be your go-to ability. It's going to bring people out of position. It's going to throw them off their game. And you can oftentimes get a lot of active directly off of it as well. So either blink or three directly into them. Then you pull them. And then after you pull them, now you're probably spamming your one to try to get the damage off. And of course, remember that last attack on the Susana one is a small dash. So you can use that dash to get away as well. Three, two, one, and your one is your getaway skill in that situation. Susano's best ability for making plays is your three. Your three is where you are going to see the spicy plays. There are basically an unlimited amount of cool combinations that you can do with it. But here are a couple of ideas. You throw down Susano three on a Athena. That Athena ulties to a different lane. You press your three again. You are now in the different lane with Athena. A Yannis is going to go through his portal. So you throw down your three on Yannis. He goes through portal. Congratulations. You are also now through his portal. Any character jumps, leaps, etc. You have now followed them all the way to kingdom come. Chernobog, etc. You've only got a couple of seconds. You've only got a couple of seconds to actually utilize the three. Going to body block this Emoja right here. But you can make some really hype and cool plays. So remember, you throw out your three initially. And then after you throw it out, you've got just a couple of seconds where you can press it again. And it'll teleport you right over to your target. I'm actually going to do a little cheeky play right here. I'm going to go for a blink pull, spam my one, and get myself out of there. So there are some times where you don't necessarily want to be going for the maximum damage output. So right there, I did an auto attack in between my abilities. While that is technically less DPS efficient, what I'm really trying to do there is just kill the Achilles and get out. I know that my one and my two are going to be able to do enough damage These are in order swords. to get me uh, to in order to kill the Achilles. So I spam my one through the first two. Then the third one gives me a nice dash to get out of the tower. And then I can use the rest of my abilities to go ahead and escape. So in a perfect world, you're always auto attacking in between abilities. But... Sometimes the better play is to quickly spam, get the kill, and get out. Should also be noted for all of you out there with your brains twirling and going beep, beep, boop, 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 boop. No, you cannot proc Hydras more than once on Susana 1. 
No matter how many times you click it, you're only gonna get the one proc. But fun Destroyed. fact, a little smart history fact for you. Oh, yes, back in the day, fire. you used Enemy to be able down. to get three Hydra's procs off of Super Zana 1. And yes, it was just as busted as you think it would be. So, <laughs> back in the days when Suzano was really good, he could proc Hydra's three times in one ability. Was it balanced? It was not. It was not. So for our pairings with Suzano, we like to pair Suzano with some big damage follow-up. And we like to make sure that we have some hyper carries Game on our right team. Lane. Suzano is not a hyper carry. He will be able to do some good setup and stuff like that, but you're gonna wanna pair him with somebody like a Poseidon mid is a great pairing. He has a huge follow-up, whether it's off of my pull, whether it is off of my uh, ultimate. And that could be anybody. A raw, that could be a Scylla. It doesn't matter. Mm, my beads did not quite go up, but that's okay. Kim's gonna be able to collapse on this. I'm gonna pull an edge on the second he comes back down. A couple of procs later, we're gonna get the kill. We should actually be able to do the fire giant. As far as what you're good against on Suzano, we talked a little bit about it earlier. You are specifically quite good <gasps> against those stealth gods. What a steal, by the way, right there from the emoji. Going to go ahead and blink right on through that and try to chase him down. But what a great emoji one steal. Might have actually just killed myself by pulling him towards me. That was way too greedy. But hopefully my team can follow up on that. Why am I so bad at being good? Why am I so bad at being good? I know, right, son? So, stealth characters, you're kind of the bane of their existence. I'm gonna back up and go defend a left lane. But in general, the meta characters are all gonna do pretty well against you. And, 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 much like Sir Ket, cripples are the bane of your existence. Do be careful when going against teams with cripples. Because you have a lot of movement, a cripple is going to stop you from basically utilizing half your kit. So we do not want to go against the Ares's Ardeos of the world. You will not have a good time. To be fair, you're probably not going to have a good time in general, Susano, because you're very okay, but... If you're gonna play with Susano, let it be against stealth characters. Let it be with some nice hyper damage, hyper damage follow-up. Nice big damage hunter, big damage mid laner. And let the Lord bless you so that there are not any cripples. Gotta farm up for that level 20. So we can get that protector of the jungle online. And then our final item is going to be an Erendite. Erendite's gonna give us 40% CDR. It's gonna let us chase people down even better than we already can after our ultimate. And it pairs really well with our theme of anti-self because Erendite, remember, gives you vision. A lot of people forget, but Erendite does go ahead and get vision. So I'm gonna chase down this emoji. I'm gonna try my launch my ulti over to him. Couldn't quite reach him with it, so I'm actually gonna switch around. Go kill this Neja with some nice Hydra's procs. Gonna still come towards this Yamoja. I'm going straight for him through this Achilles because there's no way I kill the Achilles. Use my little tiny Susana body for the body blocks. And now that everybody's in here tanking for me, I don't mind going for this Achilles. See if we can't wrap up another kill right there. And we should be able to at least get this mid tier two tower probably head over to the gold fury as well gonna use on my hydra's procs for some bonus damage on this tower as well as the generic auto attack cancel so as we move into the late game i will be hiding around walls trying to be sneaky in order to blink in on the enemy backline 
Specifically, my target this game is probably going to be the Morrigan and the Heim. A quick little benefit as well of Susano is I can actually pull Heim out of his three, which then resets his teleport timer. Displacements are always good against Heim. So being able to pull Heim out of his three means he has to reset that timer on the teleport, which if it can buy you half a second, three fourths of a second, that actually might be enough to kill the Heim. Another little good situation there for the uh, Suzano. Now I've got Protector of the Jungle, so I would obviously prefer to fight in the jungle so I can get those bonus stats. Your right tower. And we're going to be looking for a quick pick. They've got a Nezhar pretty far forward and right. Looked like he might have had an Achilles over here with him. See if we can't wait for him to use his ultimate and then chase him up after that. Actually, Arthur is going to get the ult on him, so probably not. Just going to kill him right there with a pull. Emojis off to the side in the jungle. That's where I'd prefer to be anyway. I don't have my pull up. But I can assume that he teleported kind of close. Because that's what Heim's like to do. There he is. We find him in the back line. Got to kind of wait for the Heim knock up the stuff. So right there, I know that Heim is going to be able to immune my Naga, right? With his horn. So I hold my ultimate until after he is done with his horn. And then I can get myself the knockup, which leads to the kill. Speaking of kills, the kill is out of left field. Scared the bejeebers out of me, but we actually do get a left Phoenix from a split push. Achilles ultimate is now down. They should be able to hopefully grab themselves another Phoenix here. They used a lot of the emoji stuff. Morgan's getting taunted. G's going down. Looks like we're going to get at least another Phoenix, if not the game. And I'm going to be able to finish up the Erendite as well on my respawn. If they can grab this mid Phoenix, that's fantastic. Then we back up and we look to go do the Fire Giant again. I might be able to get a Sentry Ward. No, I'm not going to be able to because they won't be able to get that. That's fine. I'm just going to call for the attack fire giant, fire giant so we can get everybody backed up. Head over to fire, get some wards out. And this time, we actually secure the fire giant. 10 out of 10. Do recommend securing the fire giant. To be fair, last time, Poseidon didn't have Kraken up because we had just used it for a kill. So all he had was a tidal surge to secure, you know, not entirely his fault. I did call for it after. He had clearly used his ultimate to get a kill. We're getting good. Ward coverage set up. You can zone as Suzano. It's not really your job. It's more either the soul laner or the guardian's job to zone. So I'm just going to stay right over here on fire. We do get it. Gonna throw myself kind of towards this Yamoto, but she is very hard to chase. We got a rocket going off. I don't know if he's gonna be able to reach anybody, but we do find a Morgan off into the jungle. She had turned into the the Poseidon, so he's not gonna make it out of that one. We don't even necessarily need to go for that right side. We could go straight for this mid Phoenix, and that looks like that is where everybody's gonna go. We're getting zoned by the Yamoto. We gotta be a little careful. I'm just gonna go straight for the Phoenix right now. I don't even need to buy, dive in the back line. I can just do a little PVE right here. Now this is where it's a little awkward that we don't have the tier two and right. We should probably just go attack right lane. Going for the Titan is not a horrible idea, but we don't have any of our ultis up. Like if we had Cthulhu ulti up and Poseidon ulti up, we could probably just dive right there and go get it. But it's pretty unsafe with four of them up and no ultis. Plus, we already have the creeps quite push up over here already. They might have this warded. They certainly have vision on me with the Heim. But I'm going to be looking for a blink over the swamp. Right into the Nezda. Unfortunately, he's on his immunity frame on the sash right there. But I should be able to use my ultimate for a quick kill. Morgan's going to go for the stun on me. So I'm going to preemptively beach that as I walk back in towards Morgan. She uses her stealth to get away. Bill just come back up in a couple of seconds. My main target is going to be the Heim in the background. I'm going to teleport in towards him. I'm going to go for the pull. He very smartly immunities that pull with his horn. 
but we should be able to just go ahead and attack the Titan and kind of put this game away. So right there, Susano, we're utilizing our cooldowns for a lot of the CC, the displacement, playing as kind of a setup jungler. We're also building into a quite a bit of flat pen and anti-heal to help out with the emoja and give us a lot of damage against the squishies. You could tell that like against Achilles, my damage really wasn't that much. So I was trying to avoid him as much as I could. Those tankier characters without the percent pen um, are gonna be quite hard for you to kill. But those squishier characters, that Morgan, that Hein, that Neja were all just snacks for me, baby. And that is your Susano. Thank you for supporting the Twitchiest community. If you'd like to see more videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel and always hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Thank you for all your support and have a twitching day, y'all.